the Student Enterprise Department was actually started by Claire Rennick and she's done a really great job of scaling this whole department up and building it up from scratch. Workshops, inspirational events, training, the annual boot camp, um, and also, very importantly, funding opportunities for students to set up their businesses. The reason for why you came to SOAS is probably because you fought with imagination and with innovation already before you came. SOAS probably developed it even more, so you've become sort of an intellectual of um, <laughs> imagination and creativity. I would say what better place than an enterprise or um, an organization to be able to put those ideas into practice. Doing a startup, there's an overflow of ideas and it's really great to have come to experts such as yourself to really manage my ideas and to give me the feedback that I needed to hear to be able to organize my thoughts. I've been in involved in Student Enterprise through um, their Lunch and Learn workshops um, where speakers who've started their own social enterprises have come to speak about um, their own journeys and given us advice on what to do if we're interested in starting our own social enterprises. As well as the support with the business plan and the funding, you also get a chance to attend a three-day boot camp that I attended last year and have been part of this year um, as a mentor. And in the boot camp, you learn a lot about the practicalities of starting a business, so um, the different um, company formations, how to do your financials, and you also get talks from people who have started enter um, enterprises, and you get to do group projects um, that come up with basically businesses that you get to pitch at the end of the three-day boot camp, and you just get a lot of skills on how to start a business. The bazaar is literally a godsend for anyone who wants to start a business or even who has a product that they'd like to sell but they're not sure about how it's going to be received. It's really, really well attended, it's been really well received. There have been businesses that have been set up just from people, you know, selling their stuff at the JCR and getting the feedback. The best thing you can do if you have an idea is just to go out there, start selling, get feedback. So the Visa Graduate Scheme was a sort of um, the only or the only choice available after the immigration law essentially changed for students that were international students such as myself um, wanting to continue to work here um, and it was at the same time though a brilliant opportunity for someone who had never really thought about entrepreneurialism but had all the qualities and the skills of one so it just sort of provided that connection um, and I just thought well why not I should probably go for this and I tried to come up with an innovative idea about something that I was already uh, passionate about which was education and just build it into an enterprise and slowly slowly it just came together so it was a brilliant um, sort of uh, incentive. I also applied for unlimited funding through SOAS Enterprise and was successful um, so I was able to get some funding to start my own social enterprise. It's a project uh, to put a roof garden on the top of SOAS in the main building along with two beehives to create a roof garden and acreage space. Um, since we've started, uh, the bees came as nooks. They were small, 10,000, but small bees relatively. Uh, and they're sort of bedding in this year, so for the start of the next academic year, um, the hives will be up and running and fully functional for other students to get up there and get involved. 